I'm Rachel Greninger, and tonight we're at the premiere of Keanu starring Key and Peel. I'm good. Thank you. Oh my god. I was just talking about how sweet your crushed blue jacket is. I see you matched me well. I didn't even know it. Look, we matched the sign. That's how we do. And we're wearing black too. Here we go. Let's, let's get a shot. We're gonna go to prom. There it is. Oh my god. So how are you? You look great. Oh, thank you very much. And your glasses are on point. I'm doing pretty good today. Yeah, so you're doing a lot right now. You're getting a second season coming up. Tell me a little bit about what we can expect. Second season at Hand of God, and, you know, I'm, I'm about to, you know, be the best mayor ever. Mayor? Mayor. He's mayoring the shit out of this town. I took a lot of information from my boy Carcetti from The Wire, and he told me what to do. So now I'm going to do my thing in the mayor's role and keep Ron Perlman in check, which is hard to do. He's a bad man. I mean, he's a bad man. I just found out my love interest in the show is going to be Nia Long. Very sexy. Whoa, like down the carpet Nia Long. Like, like 10 stars, the sun sets behind her Nia Long. I'll wait till she's done with the movie star and she got to come back to the small screen with me. <laughs> come on back, everybody. Yeah. So when, you, when you're going through and you're reading scripts and you're looking at stuff, what is something that kind of jumps out to you on a, on a project you want to work with? Or on the, 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 the main word is cast. I want to be cast in a lot of things. So that's the first thing. And after that, just human, humanistic stories with a character with multi layers and the the, the ability to be able to bring what I bring to the table and get a certain freedom. And most directors and producers know I got a lot of stuff going on in my head, in my body language, and they allow me to be me. So that's great. Did you start out knowing you wanted to be an actor? Or was that something you fell into? I, I started out knowing I wanted to act. I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know what to do. But I just, you know, let destiny take its course. And it just seemed that I fell, I fell in the right direction and kept rolling down. If you were going to see another movie spoofed in Hollywood and be replaced with an animal, what animal would you replace it with? Like, if you were going to spoof a movie. If I was going to spoof a movie. Yeah, if you were going to spoof a movie, like, let's say you decided to take a ride along and make it into a, a movie that involved an animal. What animal would you include in your spoof movie? I would, uh, I would include a beta fighting fish. Wow, that's a good answer. That's right. a, a solid fish, answer. You know, wants to be alone but needs a little company. And if I look at myself in the mirror, I do get upset. <laughs> <laughs> I would do a platypus. A platypus, huh? Okay. Mostly because I feel like they don't get a lot of, they don't get a lot of press, those guys. They don't because it's, it's, it's a, They're weird it's a to look at. The tongue twister. They're a little terrifying. Yes, they are. Are they amphibian? Are they mammal? I guess I, it's weird. That's why it's a hard movie to put in. It's weird. That's why we haven't done it yet. That's right. But, but I think I can maybe, we can ballpark it. We can figure it out, I think. Yeah, okay, I mean, you know, I mean, all this blue Finding Nemo is played out. It's time to move on to Beta and Platypus. platypus. There you go. Beta and Platypus. That's good. We're going we're gonna to launch it. It's going to be awesome. Green light it. Green light it. Green light it for us. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks so much. You look beautiful. Thank you. You too. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you've seen here, hit like, subscribe. And in the comments below, tell me what animal you would sub if you were in Keanu.